Hola, Animigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm Stephen Shaw. And I'm David Korshid. Let's take a quick look at a technique from Flip Between States. So just like we've done in previous videos, we are going to be using the flip technique to smoothly animate between these small and big states. Um, we have a flip function down here in the JavaScript where we're getting the first rectangle and um, we're doing something which is changing the layout. In this case, we're changing between big and small and setting that to data states on the app. And so that's going to change the layout so that now if we're in big, we're showing the big content, and if we're in small, we're showing the small content. That's what is uh, going to cause the app to grow or shrink. And um, when we're flipping, we're actually grabbing those values, uh, such as the change in X, the change in Y, the change in width, and the change in height, and we're assigning those to CSS variables. All of this JavaScript that you see over here is not doing any animation. And this is going to be important for, uh, for this challenge because we're going to be using those values in the CSS and adding some transition delays in order to choreograph the display of the big and you know, small content as they fade in and out with each other. And so we're doing that um, using a background element. Um, or actually, we're, we're, uh, we're animating the layout by using a background element. And the reason we do that is because since the height is going to scale, we don't want to warp the children. So by only applying the scale animation to the background, we avoid having to invert scale the children. That's and right. there's, um, there's nothing in that BG element. It's just, it's just taking up the whole kind of container there. Yeah. Uh, and and we've got the background and the and the border radius applied to it, so it's it's perfectly um, set up to just be the background, and we don't have to worry about anything else getting clipped or or scaled. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the border radius, we have these values over here, which are inverting the border radius as well, and that's because let's if I remove this, I'm just going to do that, then you're going to see all the weirdness going on. Uh, with the animation if we don't do that. Especially for a big border radius, the effect is noticeable. So yeah. by taking the change in the width and the change in the heights into account and doing this, you know, it looks like a division thing, but what's happening here is we're telling the uh, border radius um, how, um, what its radius should be on the x-axis and what it should be on the y-axis. And so we're multiplying that by the change in width and heights to counteract the effects of warping there. So Yeah, that's some math we worked out in another episode that was really fun to, to get to. Uh, thanks for figuring that out, David. Uh, <laughs> and, and that prevents our border radius from getting too, too weird. And we're also using all those those flip values um, that I've got showing here as, in the in a pseudo element up top. Um, we're using the the change in the y, the dy value, um, to smoothly animate that that position so that it um, kind of slides into place. Um, and an important aspect of flipping is uh, applying transition none during that frame where everything is is rendering in that inverted position. Um, so that way it instantly snaps to that position um, and appears like it hasn't moved at all. And then, um, and then that flipping uh, attribute is removed. And so the transition then triggers from there. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're choreographing these um, fairly simply. Uh, so there's a, there's a transition delay on the content itself. Um, so the, the content that's going away fades out instantly, but the content that's coming in it's delayed one second. Um, and our, our app animation, uh, we've got the transition delay of 0.5 seconds. So after the, after the content fades out, the, uh, the container then starts to animate. And then after that's finished, since it's only uh, 0.5 seconds, um, the, the new content animates in. And that's just the choice of the, of the original animation that we're working on. Um, and you know that's that's a great way to handle it when you're moving between two states and don't want any any kind of weirdness happening there. Yeah, challenge completed. <laughs> nice work. You can watch the full process of creating this animation with a deeper dive into each technique on the full live stream links below. 
And if you have any questions, you know, please leave us a comment and we'll be happy to answer. Yes. Our show is supported by our sponsors, CodePen at CodePen.io, CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com, and viewers like you. You can pledge at Patreon.com slash Keyframers and uh, subscribe to our channel for more great content. Uh, we do have some links available below for all of that happening. Until next time, adios and amigos. Adios.